Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to the virtual college exploration for all of North and South Carolina students sponsored by the Carolinas Association of Collegiate Registrars and Admissions Officers and StriveScan. Thank you so much for joining us today. A few housekeeping items before we get started. You can use the Q&A feature at the bottom of your screen to submit your questions to our presenter at any time during the session. Your camera and microphone are turned off so the panelists cannot see or hear you. This is just one of many sessions happening through CACRO, so be sure to check out the website at CACRAO.org. This presentation is also being recorded and will be available on the CACRO.org website within about a week. I'd now like to turn it over to our presenter. Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining us today. My name is Tracy Harrison, and I am the Associate Director of Admissions at Emory & Henry College. We are a small private liberal arts college and it's located in Southwest Virginia, right outside of the Virginia, Virginia, Tennessee line. As you can see, we have several different campuses. Our main campus is located in Emory, Virginia. We do have a School of Health Sciences located in Marion, Virginia. We have a partnership with the Barter Theater in Abingdon, Virginia. Our Intermont Equestrian Center is located in Bristol, and then our Bartlett Crow Field Station is located in Glade Spring. So I mentioned our School of Health Science. We do have an undergrad pre-health program that a lot of times will feed into our graduate school. Our pre-health program also prepares our students to be able to go on to any medical uh, health science field that they are looking into, even if it is not with our School of Health Science. The doctorate and master's programs that we offer are a doctorate in physical therapy, and then we also offer a master's in occupational therapy and physician's assistance. We have an equine studies program and also competitive equestrian riding teams. We are 21 national championships in hunter, dressage, and equitation. And then again, like I said, we offer equine studies in both a major and as a minor. A lot of our equine studies students will go on to vet school to study for large animal veterinarian sciences. The McLaughlin Center for the Arts is one of our newest buildings. It houses our theater department and also our art department. We host guests, artists, and events, and also have an art gallery as well. And speaking of our theater department, we do have a partnership with the Barter Theater, which is the State Theater of Virginia. A lot of the professional actors and actresses will stand in as adjunct faculty for us and then they also offer internships for our theater students as well. Our Bartlett Crow Field Station is just about 10 minutes from campus. We have 72 acre preserve located in Glade Spring that features wetlands, ponds, streams, weather stations for research and exploration and our biology um, and environmental studies programs use this along with our outdoor program. Our outdoor program is actually really a cool feature that we have. It is available to all of our students. We also are the only college in the United States that offer college credit to hike the Appalachian Trail, which is our semester trail program. We also offer an adventure team for any student that wants to do leadership through the outdoor program and through the adventure team, we also offer scholarships within that team as well. For our outdoor program that is located on campus, we have an outdoor climbing wall and also an indoor crag wall as well. Education is one of our more popular programs. We do offer a five-year master's in education, which within your senior year, you will start taking master's program courses and finish up your master's in education within that fifth year. A lot of our teachers go on into our local area to teach and also across the United States. 
We just recently added an engineering science degree that goes along with our physics department. This is a general engineering science degree that prepares our students to go on either into the workforce or into a master's program. It will give you the basis to be able to transfer on for a graduate school in any specific engineering program that you're wanting to do, or you are able to go on into a career field if that is what you want to do. We do have a business administration degree and also an accounting degree. However, we are adding a school of business to our campus. Our school of business is going to have um, several innovative and dynamic endeavors. It's going to be entrepreneurial. We are going to be adding master's programs and probably about five undergrad programs into the school of business as well. And we actually just hired our new dean and are doing renovations on the building that this program will live in. We have several rankings for our college. Do say it for our faculty, we have the most awarded faculty in the state of Virginia for any college. Um, we are also part of the Colleges That Change Lives book. And we were uh, nominated for the 2020-2021 College of Distinction. Like I said, we are a liberal arts school. We have a strong liberal arts foundation. Our students are required to take Lyceum credits, which that is just going to be attending a theater production, an art gallery exhibit. Um, at the beginning of each semester, there's always a list that goes out to all of our students of different activities and productions that are going on that will count towards Lyceum credits. We do have integrative learning environment. We are very hands-on. We have small class sizes. So average class size is going to be about 15 students. And we have 10 to 1 ratio of faculty students. Like I said, we have class projects and research. We do, we focus more on hands-on learning than you are more going to be sitting in a classroom for lectures. We are a very civic engaged and community oriented campus. The vast majority of our students at any given point in time in the four years that they are with us will do some sort of community service leadership outreach with either on the campus or our community partners. We do offer the ability for our students to do study abroad when it is available. Our two different types of study abroad we offer are either a week to two week trips that usually happen during the spring or during the summer or you can do a semester abroad where you will go for an entire semester to another country and study over there. We do offer work experience and internships. We offer work experience on campus and off campus. And through our career center, we do, we give our students the opportunity to have internships. A lot of our students will do multiple internships. Our Powell Resource Center is there for counseling and tutoring. All of our students have the opportunity for counseling if they need it and also for tutoring. This is not an additional cost, it's included in the price of the tuition. For tutoring, we do have a lot of classes that will already have a tutor set up on a weekly basis. Or if you find that you are struggling in a course that you need a tutor for, you can let your professor know and they will get one for you. On the flip side of that, if you take a course that you feel really strongly about and you did really well in, you can let the professor know that you would like to tutor for that class. And a lot of times, depending on the department's budget, it can be a paid position. Our Van Vlissingen Center for Career and Professional Development is where our career counselors are at. They will, they help our students with finding internships, finding jobs after graduation, moving on to graduate school after your undergrad. We have availability for creating your e-portfolio, and they also help our students in creating their resumes. Again, they have a lot of connections that work with our students on finding their internships. Whether you want to do an internship close to home, in the area where the college is at or across the world. We have opportunities for internships really wherever our students want to go. And these are just a few places that a lot of our graduates end up working and also having internships at as well. 
It's very common for our students that when they internship somewhere that typically tends to be where their first job is. So a lot of times your internship will turn into employment. And then connecting on campus as a student. We have 70 plus student organizations. We offer affinity groups, the outdoor team, we have Greek life, we have intramural sports, community service, and then a new feature that our housing and student life department has added is the hangout virtual opportunities. Every week they have the virtual hangout to keep interacting with all of our students because a lot of them are not on campus. They are doing virtual learning and some of our students are on campus. So this is a good way for them to interact with each other even if they can't be in person. And we have also added eSports. So we are working with an eSports league where we will be hosting different events throughout the fall and the spring semester. So applying to Emory and Henry. Our application is now available for any seniors who would may be wanting to join us in fall of 2021. We are test optional this year, so the only thing we are going to need is high school transcripts. We have two early action application dates, November the 15th and January 15th. These are not binding and we do have rolling admission, but these dates will get you priority for getting your financial aid information, class selection, and also resident hall selection. The next step you would want to do is file your FAFSA. The FAFSA becomes available on October the 1st, and you will file your FAFSA every year, no matter which college that you end up going to. This is something that typically is where the vast majority of your financial aid comes from. If you have questions or your parents have questions, we are actually hosting a workshop for FAFSA on October the 2nd. It will be virtual and it'll be at four o'clock and myself and our financial aid director will be hosting that. You can find out more information about the workshop at ehc.edu forward slash visit. And with financial aid, we do have different academic and co-curricular groups that offer additional scholarships within our campus. Um, all of those can be found on our website and they're diff just various different groups depending on what you might be interested in. Once you are accepted and once we have your FAFSA, our financial aid office will send an award letter to you that will be specific for you based on your financial aid. It'll include your merit scholarship that was awarded at the time of acceptance any institutional aid and any federal aid that you're eligible for. If this is where you decide you want to go, we do have a $200 enrollment deposit that is non-refundable. During the summer, we do offer registration dates. You only have to join one out of the three of them, and this is when you will sit down with your advisor and go over your class schedule for the fall. <coughs> And this is just a list of various opportunities that we have, um, both inside and outside scholarships. We offer grants both through Emory and Henry and also through the federal government. We have a lift scholarship that is need based for any Pell eligible families. We do the lift scholarship will also be awarded and that's determined by our financial aid office. The campus does offer student employment or work study positions. Typically, we have more student employment jobs available than we do students. At the beginning of the fall semester, we will have a job fair that a lot of the departments will set up at for anyone that has available student employment jobs. And this is the performance in the Affinity Scholarships that I was discussing earlier. Like I said, there's several of them that are department based or academic based and then we do have a handful that are co curricular as well. All of these have a separate application process that also include an interview or audition, depending on the group and then all of these have a application interview deadline of March 1st. And these are the costs for this incoming class that started in the fall. 100% of our students receive financial aid. We have a merit-based scholarship that ranges from 10,000 to 23,000 per year, and it is awarded based on GPA. And then as you can see, the average first year aid for our students with need is roughly around 29,000. 
and then tuition, which is held steady for the past five years, is $34,500. Average room cost and student fees, and then the average out-of-pocket cost of attendance, which is also going to include books, travel, food, and a lot of additional outside charges that you could possibly see while being a college student, but you don't actually get charged directly by the school. So that is the end of my presentation and you are welcome to click the Q&A box if you do have questions. And then since we do have time, I do have an admissions counselor on this call, on this webinar with me as well. Antoine, can you think of any questions? Because um, I know sometimes they don't, I know sometimes it's shy and we don't want to ask questions in front of everybody, which is absolutely okay. Do you have any questions that you can think of that was not covered in the PowerPoint? I'm sure some may have uh, questions about athletics and you to probably fill out a questionnaire. Mm -hmm. um, but if, and if I can answer that for me, you would just go to our website and um, go to gowaspot.com and go to the athletics questionnaire and fill out the questionnaire on there as well. Yeah. And so with, the, with our athletics questionnaire, um, a lot of times our coaches will reach out to your current coach and then they'll also reach out to you. But that is the best way to get in contact with a coach if they haven't previously reached out to you. Can you think of any other questions? Um, no, not, not as uh, now. I can't think of any. Okay. I think you pretty much. I think you pretty much did a great job of covering it all. So. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know it has a lot. PowerPoint has a lot of information on it, um, but we are open. So one of the things that I do would like you to know that we are open for in-person visits. So we are allowing guests to come on campus Monday through Friday, and we are offering a few Saturday visits as well. Again, if you want to schedule a visit either through the week or on the weekend, it's ehc.edu forward slash visit. You can also find contacts for our admissions counselors there. If you would like to speak with your admissions counselor, you do have any further questions regarding either this webinar or Emory and Henry specific questions. I know that was super, very short and sweet and to the point, and that is absolutely okay. Um, but like I said, you're always more than welcome to reach out to us on an individual basis if you do have any further questions. Tracy, do you mind addressing how Emory and Henry is currently um, supporting COVID precautions, safety measures for your current student body? Yeah, absolutely. So we are in a hybrid model right now. We do have first year students, the ones that wanted to live on campus or so first year students, the vast majority of them are living on campus. Um, we did give all of them the choice if they wanted to live on campus or if they wanted to still do remote learning. About 50% of our classes are remote and the other 50% are in person. However, for our upperclassmen, because they are learning remotely, even if it is an in-person class, it is also being offered as a remote class as well for our upperclassmen who are not on campus yet. We, are, we have several different rooms that have been selected for any quarantine that needs to be had for our students. It is being heavily monitored by our Housing and Student Life Office along with the Virginia Department of Health. We are offering on-campus testing here in a couple of weeks for all of our students, faculty, and staff. For visitors, we are requiring all of our visitors to make sure that they have not had any symptoms or have been around anyone who has had symptoms or have tested positive. And then also once they get to campus, we go through those questions again and we are checking everyone's temperature. Faculty and staff are also required to do a self-check every morning before they come to campus.
I think here and so one of the things that we are going to do here in a couple of weeks will be the second half of our fall semester where we are going to be allowing about 150 more of our students to be able to move back in on campus. And as of the spring, nothing has been decided. We may still be doing uh, the hybrid model as long as everything continues to go well. Hey, Tracy, can you mention the, um, the October 10th open house, virtual open house? Uh, mm -hmm. Yep, you can, thank you. See, this is the reason why I need a second person. <laughs> So I can remember things. <laughs> but yes, um, I've already mentioned our February, October the 2nd FASFA workshop. We also are going to be hosting a virtual open house starting on October the 10th. We will have a welcoming ceremony that morning. And then throughout the following week, we will be offering various live 30 minute sessions with students and also various departments across campus. So you will have the opportunity to speak one on one with several different members of campus, our faculty, and also our current students. And for the students who are probably looking um, to get into that, I would definitely encourage you to do so. It's very informative. Um, of course, the, the floor is open to questions with the professors and they're, they're great. Um, they know their stuff, so. Um, I definitely would love for all of you to, to join us on, on Saturday the 10th. So I'll be looking forward to seeing you guys then. Yeah, absolutely. And we just finished up our last one and it was a huge success. And I think everyone really enjoyed being able to speak with our faculty. Any other questions or anything that y'all feel like I have not covered? Um, you, you mentioned, did you mention the rolling admissions? Yes, yeah, so we are, so we are rolling admission um, from the time that we get your completed application to your transcripts, usually within 24 to 48 hours, you will have an admissions decision from us that will also include your merit scholarship award. Now, Tracy and Antoine, a question that I'm frequently asked is, uh, you know, what are some fun things, social engaging things to do at your school? You know, I think we have our Emory Activities Board, which is a one of our student groups that that is their main goal is to make sure that every weekend, every evening, as much as they possibly can, they have something outside the classroom for our students to participate in. Even in the virtual world that we're all living in, they are still doing a fantastic job. We have the ENH Hangouts. Our spiritual life program is offering different um, activities that they're doing, different sessions that they're offering. We have our diversity and inclusion program that is also offering different activities. We have movie nights. They're all doing 3D movie nights. Um, so I think for where we are at and the times that we are living in, our, our students and our faculty and our staff are doing a fantastic job of staying active and giving our students the opportunity to interact with each other, even if it's over Zoom. And there are places to shop. Uh, we have uh, what we call the pinnacle and it's probably right outside of Bristol. Well, it's in Bristol, Tennessee, but it's about 30 minutes from campus. Um, so there's places to shop um, since we are in a rural area. And But I'm telling you, you go to Abingdon and go to some restaurants, man, that, that food is great. Um, I like to go to the, I like to go to uh, 28 Pecan. It's one of my favorite places to eat in Abingdon, which is probably around 10 minutes from campus. So, um, and Abingdon is very historic, especially Main Street. If you guys are into that, um, I, I, if, if you come down to visit, hopefully you can have you uh, go check Abingdon out too. It's a nice place to visit as well. Yeah, Abingdon was actually just recently voted by uh, USA Today as the best small town food scene. 
for all of the restaurants that are in Abingdon. There you go. Um, so, you, yeah. you guys like to eat, if you guys like to eat, this is where you want to be. Yeah, but as far as location, you know, we have shopping, we have food, we've got a Walmart that's seven minutes away from campus. We are two hours from Roanoke, Boone, Asheville, and Knoxville. So we, you know, a lot of several, a lot of our students will go on day trips over into larger cities and it's just a day trip. So we're not, we're remote, but we are not far from hardly anything that you want to do um, to stay active. If you like being outdoors, there's a ton of hiking trails in the area. Um, there's so many opportunities in this area to really, to really get connected and do what you're passionate about. And it, uh, for the ones who are curious, yes, you can have your car on first, your first year on campus. Yeah, that is another question that we do get asked. You are allowed to have your campus on your campus. You're allowed to have your car on campus all four years. And most of our parking lots for our resident halls are par are located convenient walking distance from the resident hall. We do have two, we do have two different options of resident hall. That's another question that we typically get asked. So we have traditional style, which is going to be you have a roommate and then there's a communal bathroom shared on the sectional hallway that you live in. And then the vast majority of our first year students will be in suite style. So again, you have a roommate, but it's a suite style with a bathroom that is just shared within the room. Um, so a lot of our first year students really like that setup. Um, if you don't want to be in that traditional style college dorm. Any other questions? All right, well, again, thank you all for joining us. We greatly appreciate being able to speak to everyone. And you are always more than welcome to reach out to us if you do have any questions and absolutely come and visit us. All right, so thank you all for um, joining us and learning more about this particular institution and the opportunities that they have for you. Um, when you close out your window, you will be prompted to complete a short survey so that we can collect feedback on how to improve these programs in the future. Also, this is just one of many sessions that we have available going on for the remainder of this week into the next week at CACRO, C-A-C-R-A-O dot org. And also about a week, this session will be posted to the same website for you to revisit, share with your friends, or visit other sessions about the college exploration process. Thank you so much, students, and thank you all for the presenters for joining us and sharing information about your respective institution. Have a great day, everyone.